Hey guys, this is Lisa from NYC Gal Out. Okay, you guys are coming with me to go get my car registered. But guys, before we get into it, I just need to take like three minutes, just give me three minutes to have a military spouse, army wife rant. I don't care if it's the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, whatever it is. If you guys are a military spouse, then you legit know what I'm talking about. That's my baby in the back. She's fed up too, in case you guys haven't noticed. So I just need to have like three minutes just to rant. Okay, so I started off this morning bright and early, which I am not a morning person, but like I... It's Thursday, and my regular co-host, Lindsay, the housewife historian, we usually recap, because we're currently recapping Beverly Hills, so we recap um, in the morning, but Lindsay's, um, you know, she's got stuff to do, so we're going to actually record this afternoon instead, and then I didn't have, like, such a great day. You guys are... Um, in the army and you guys are like trying to decide on a duty station I loved Fort Campbell I was actually very surprised by how much I loved Fort Campbell because I was thinking this is going to suck it's like on the border of Kentucky and Tennessee like what the hell but um, I legit love Fort Campbell it was like my favorite duty station because it's very close to Nashville there's a, a lot of stuff that the USO does and because it's so close to Nashville a lot of like the country singers they uh, do free concerts and stuff like that we had like some Grammy award winning country singer that um, had did like some July 4th concert one year when we were there at the USO also has like great events that they throw over there like awesome events I mean over here at Fort Leavenworth I don't know if it's just because everybody's so broke or what but like the events that they have here like legit suck but I also think like my husband says that it kind of sucks because like there's not really a lot of people that get stationed here as a duty station they come here for school like so most of the residents at Fort Leavenworth are here because they're students um not actually because they're stationed here as a duty station like you know to whatever uh, i think there is like an mp brigade or battalion or whatever that does get stationed here but the majority of the people that are at fort leavenworth are students so i feel like that's also why like the housing on fort leavenworth kind of sucks too because the students are only here for like a year and it's still, you know, like, I guess those that are here for like two years will probably get like a, a house that's a little bit nicer. But for the majority of the students, they're here for ILE and the houses legit suck. They legit suck. Anyway, Fort Leavenworth, way back in the day, Fort Leavenworth was actually a color barracks. Did you know that? Like, this is where they sent those who were in the army that were colored that were black and the town of Leavenworth is kind of very desolated looking it's not a lot of development if you head out towards Lansing it is a lot nicer looking and Kansas City it's only about like 30 40 minutes away so you know I guess maybe that's also why the town isn't so developed because you know a major city like Kansas City is so close that it wouldn't really make sense to develop the a, a town that is like 30 minutes away I guess but again also Lansing is about 15 minutes away and Lansing is a lot more nicer the houses are nicer the neighborhood looks nicer there's more bigger um, retailers companies corporations out there so if you guys are heading towards Leavenworth and you're wondering whether to live on post or off post I would I mean if you're only here for ILE then I would say you know go live I, I would say go live on post because if you're here for ILE you're only going to be here for a year anyway so it wouldn't even make sense to live off post but if you're going to actually be stationed here um, like station stationed here not stationed here as a student then I would recommend renting or buying something out in Lansing because it is a lot nicer than whatever you're going to be able to get at 
Leavenworth. The town outside of the post is called Leavenworth also, which is like very weird because usually the town has a different name from the base, but the base is called Leavenworth and the town is called Leavenworth. So, <laughs> and of course you also have like, you know, the military prison here. So it's kind of like, you know, you have like the military prison in Cuba, Guantanamo Bay. And then the one over here is freaking Fort Leavenworth. <sighs> Legit guys. I mean, the cemetery is filled with like German POWs from World War II or some shit. Anyway, I just had to have my little rant because I legit woke up this morning to go get my car registered, but because we're in the military, right, you had to do all of these things. I went in there and they told me I needed to get my car um, registered, not registered, they told me I had to get my car inspected because like the state of Kansas does that, I guess, for whatever. And here's the thing if you guys are saying to me like well this is probably like the seventh or eighth state that you lived in shouldn't you know all this stuff by now like no because every single state that you move to they have their own set of rules like your car is registered by what state you're currently residing in not by the freaking federal government if it was registered through the federal government it would be universal but because you have to go through like the state freaking department of motor vehicles every state has like different requirements so anyway, I went there this morning and then it was like, I still had stuff to do. So I left the courthouse, which by the way, you get your car registered in the freaking courthouse over here. But anyway, so I went to the courthouse. They were like, well, you're missing info. And then I was like, okay. So I went to like a local diner. I had breakfast with my little girl. And then I drove like 10 miles out of town, out into the boonies somewhere to get my car inspected. My car got inspected, which was really, I don't even know what the hell they were doing because I thought it was like an inspection because like in New York City your car needs to be inspected but like when you get a car inspection in New York City like they actually inspect your freaking car like over here I basically drove like 10 miles just for somebody to come out and like check the VIN number like legit that's all they did so and, and by the way they charge you $20 just to check your freaking VIN number I mean I thought it was going to be like an actual inspection like how they do in New York City but no they just checked your damn VIN number so anyway so that cost like $25 and it was like 10 miles away and I got that done I head back towards the courthouse with my husband's LES his orders with freaking a photograph of his driver license all this other shit I went there and as all of this was being done I see this little teeny tiny tape Okay, it was like a little piece of paper that was like taped down onto the teller's window and it says we do not accept American Express, which legit guys, like I only carry my American Express card. Like I don't, because here's the thing, I don't like carrying a whole bunch of stuff. I don't carry more than like $10 in cash and I also because right like if you lose cash that's it you lose it so I don't ever carry cash if I do it's always like ten dollars and that's it like if I have twenty dollars that would be like a rarity because I don't even carry that much in cash and then also um with my credit cards I feel like you know why do I need like a bunch of credit cards in my purse like if I lose my um like if I lose my purse or whatever or if something happens then it's no big deal because then it's like you know whatever I just have one credit card that I need to like you know replace or whatever or put or, or do whatever like I don't need to have like five different credit cards in my purse so I always just carry my American Express parallel park like legit I have in parallel park and like I don't even know how many years because the only time I've ever had to pedal park was in New York City. But like, I mean, even though it's been years since I've lived in New York City, it's like you never forget that shit because in New York City, you cannot get your driver's license without learning how to parallel park. Like they legit will not give you your driver's license if you don't know how to parallel park. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me. Look at me squeezing into this tight space like this. Um, anyway, so I was really pissed at that. I'm like, what the hell? So I had to go back to base again. So now this is the third time that I am showing up at the courthouse. And hopefully 
I mean, it is already what time it is. It is already two o'clock, guys. I started this shit at nine o'clock in the morning and it is legit two o'clock now. So, okay. That was like my little military rant. <sighs> oh my God. So in the mil so in the military, right, they have this thing and it's called Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law is basically anything that could go wrong does go wrong and it's just like the big green weenie screws you over every single time. Um, but anyway, okay guys, so I want to talk about Beverly Hills before I run into the courthouse and hopefully get my damn car register. Um, which by the way, I don't even feel like, why do I need to register this car? We're leaving in June. Like we are legit leaving in let's see, February, March, April, May, we're leaving in four months. So it's like, I'm leaving in four months. Like, why the hell do I need to register my car? But my car was previously registered in Indiana and I cannot renew it in Indiana because I don't have an Indiana address anymore. And like, you know, obviously, uh, anyway, I'm going to go this way, actually. Okay. So let's talk about Beverly Hills. Now, I actually enjoy last night's episode. I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy like the last few episodes because like legit guys, they were talking about like stupid stuff. They were talking about freaking esophagus for like five episodes. They were, uh, you, you know, and then there was, I, I felt like that whole thing with Garcelle and, and Dorit, it was like, I personally felt like Garcelle just doesn't like Dorit. And when you don't like someone, you're just going to nitpick at everything. So at at this point, I feel like, and you see this a lot with like fans that watch the show. When they don't like someone, they nitpick at everything, everything. And it's like, I'll give you a perfect example. Okay. For those that were watching Salt Lake City and they love Monica Garcia, they thought like that whole entire episode of where she's sitting with her mom at the kitchen table crying. Because guys, I had a I have I had to open the back window so my little girl could get some fresh air because it's such a nice day out that like you know, but but obviously it's not like warm enough to put the AC on, but like it's still too warm just to have the windows up. So anyway. Um so what I was saying was like, you know, those who love Monica Garcia on Salt Lake City and said how sh real she was, how relatable she was, and how that scene with her crying about wanting to fit in, so she bought a Louis Vuitton bag that she couldn't afford, it was like, oh my God, you know, she's so relatable, it resonates with me. But the same people who felt that way, they were like trashing Danielle Krabal saying like, oh my God, look at her. She's posting saying that she finally bought a Louis Vuitton bag. And like, I saw so many haters kind of like really dragging um, Danielle on Real Housewife of New Jersey because she was like, oh, you know, finally got a Louis Vuitton bag. And it was like, but the same people who were saying how relatable Monica was buying a bag that she can't freaking afford was like, trying to be a hater, trying to say whatever about Danielle basically doing the same thing. Like she made an Instagram post about buying her very first Louis bag. So it's like, you know, and then all the people who are saying like, oh, well, you know, um, Danielle is so thirsty. She's so thirsty. But again, those same people seem to love Monica and seem to say, oh, so what? At this point, everybody's a fan who joins the show. But like legit, even if Danielle was thirsty, all Danielle did was like, you know, put her name out there into like auditions and like freaking, you know, try really hard to get into all of the shows that she could. Whereas Monica, like legit freaking was a fangirl who befriended somebody that was already on the cast, went like, Looney Tunes and thought she was like Inspector Gadget or Olivia Benson or some shit and it was like I don't know I just noticed a lot about that like you know people will report some things about some housewives and not report other things about other housewives but I feel like if you find Monica relatable then you should find Danielle relatable because I legit think that Danielle is like a less crazier version of Monica so I I actually don't 
think that like you know for all the people who like kind of really want to drag Danielle I'm not sure where the hate comes from um like my only clue would be that the people who are like Teresa stands they now have like all these problems with Danielle because you know she's you know not team Teresa but like look don't be team anybody. Don't be team Teresa, Trima, Trima. Don't be team Teresa, team Melissa. Be team yourself. I'm team Lisa. I'm team M NYC gal out. That's who I'm team. Uh, they see on their TV screen because they are not there for you like that. Even if they're, you know, even if they're nice to you on social media and whatever, they're not there for you like that. So that's what I don't understand about it and I kind of feel like bringing it back to the whole Dorit Garcelle thing I feel like Garcelle just doesn't like Dorit so when you don't like someone like that you really kind of find anything to not like them about but in this episode when Garcelle brought up you know the uncomfortable uh, conversation and interactions that she had with Dorit I was thinking to myself oh no not another one of her fucking whatever but surprisingly it didn't take that turn and I was very surprised that you know she wasn't trying to make it into another race thing again like you know because eventually like if you set your piece and you set it and like if people don't see it your way they're not going to see it your way so to just always bring it up like you're really beating a dead horse at a dead horse at that point so it was like when Garcelle brought up at the table about her conversation with Dorit again I'm thinking oh gosh she's beating that race horse again race car race horse whatever she's beating it again but again like I said I was very happy happily surprised that um, it, it didn't go in that direction instead it was just her saying that guys I'm pulling up into the gate so yay you guys are going to see me going in through the gate of Fort Leavenworth look at that look look at look at what a unique experience you guys are getting now if you guys are wondering why I don't do live videos guys I don't do live videos because I legit have a baby like can you imagine how many times I would have to stop if I have a live video going on but this summer I will be doing live videos I'll let you guys know when I'm doing my live videos because this summer um, you know I'll be able to take like maybe a 30 minute break me hi Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, legit, guys, like every single time you go on to base, you pass by like armed guards. So, like, that's why, like, Lindsay's always like, I remember in like one. I forgot what it was like one video or something like you sh you could see my house address and Lindsay was like girl I don't know if you noticed but your house address is showing and I was like girl I'm in a military base if somebody's like stupid enough to try something like legit I tell people like you know sometimes when I do like Facebook marketplace and stuff I legit tell people like like, and guys like I legit did a video about like when they first got into it when when Dorit and Garcelle first got into it this season and I even said in my video and I have so many people coming after me saying like whatever and like legit in my video I said when you throw the race car out like that you handicap the other person because it's like if they try to defend themselves then it's like oh you're racist but I was like but Dorit is Jewish like she should have said something back and it's like it, it's crazy because it's like I obviously I didn't see like previewed advance episodes of the season but it's just really I think ironic or not ironic but I, I think is interesting that like a lot of the episodes were like stuff that I myself had like kind of rebuttal I guess it's not even it's not even like the correct word to use I don't even know but anyway so Dorit said you know like I I went to school where people were like, oh, you're Jewish, where are your horns and stuff like that. And she said, you know, I'm not trying to compare it or anything, but I, you know, I, I just want you to know that like I, I do understand whatever and blah, 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 and all this other stuff. I also 
loved it when they went to dinner they were making it's, it's i cannot pronounce it but it's basically this spanish rice with seafood and it's um it's, it's a very popular spanish dish and it is rice with seafood basically <laughs> so there was this really hot chef chef storm and his dad that like the girls were fawning over um this is <laughs> particularly garcelle and erica um okay because um what did she get upset about? Crystal got upset because, um, you know, she wanted to go to medical school or she wanted a medical profession. I'm home, guys. I got to open up my garage. And, um, you know, that's why she was acting that way or whatever. The episode was nice. There was enough level of entertainment and shade, but nothing you know, no, no fighting, nothing uncomfortable to watch. I really enjoyed the episode. 